Are there too many shadows? I don't know. Let's just try. It's 2 in the afternoon and as you can see the natural light is not, not a thing. Baby girl is sleeping so I thought why not just do it and let's try to have this background. It's way prettier than the rest of the house. So this is semi okay. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a finale for a project pan. This is the Once Upon a Pan project pan finale. I haven't done very good but I didn't do very bad either. Is that, is that a sentence? Very bad. I made some goals and some I didn't hit so that is okay if you think about it because I don't wear makeup every single day anymore. I have been wearing eye makeup for the past four days, so like four days in a row, five days in a row. I, I, that is quite good. Over my birthday weekend and then today. So yes, the Once Upon a Pan project pan is based around the TV show Once Upon a Time, which I love. It is based around fairy tale characters and stories and whatnot. So if you like that, you should definitely check out the show because it's addicting and very fun. Prompts and everything is listed down below in the description box if we want to know how we should connect the product to the character. Um, I'm just going to talk about the person and the product and my goal. For MS1 I chose my NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer and my goal was to use it up last time I was down to here. My goal was to finish it. I didn't do that. Because I couldn't squeeze out more in the tube I was just like let's see how much there is left and I squeezed it into this compact which was also in this project. But this is all I have left. So this is maybe two or three days worth of primer. So that sucks that I didn't wear makeup like three or four more times and I could have that done. But obviously it's going to be done by the end of the year which is really exciting. I had the W7 selfie powder in here for Henry Mills. So Emma's son. Used it up a few yeah, last update I finished it. I repressed another powder into it, so I used that under my eyes and yes, it is done. I'm working on other powders now. I really liked it for my under eyes. It was like a blue tint powder. Really cool and very nice, if you have dry under eyes at least. There's one packaging I haven't gotten and I don't want to get it. Laziness. <laughs> I had two lip twisters lip liners from W7 in this project and this red one was for snow and then I had a pink one for charming I thought that was kind of cute snow and charming was a pair and I have two lip liners from the same brand and stuff like that just me thinking <laughs> in the first up no in the second update I finished off the pink lip liner and that is where I am now for the red one. Obviously red is so much harder to wear, at least for me, um, but I have been really good at reaching for red lipstick over like a nude that I have on today, so obviously I have, I'm not wearing it today, but that is all I have left. It's going to be easy to finish if I just reach for a red lip, um, but when I have this yellow on I don't feel like a red lip all the time. Sometimes I do. For Regina, for Regina, 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 for the Evil Queen, aka Regina, I chose my W7 Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation, and this is the palest shade ever. <laughs> it is my mixing shade. It is my go-to foundation in the winter time because it actually matches me when I'm the palest, which is so rare. But this is a really really nice foundation to mix in with other foundations and that is what I have been doing in the entire project. Of course it's not settled now because I am shaking it because I'm holding it. I'm still at that weak line right there that I tried to do last update but that was like three oh no 
yeah, yeah. A little under four weeks ago. I only have this and another foundation in my collection, so I don't see it as a problem uh, that I haven't used it up. And then we have gold or uh, rumble still skin. Rumble still skin. My English is not perfect at the moment. I'm not in the routine to film and talk English, but I chose the Crembole shade, aka the gold shade from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and I wanted to finish it. At first, I wanted to hit pan, and I did that in like two or three uses, um, and then I wanted to finish it, or at least to see if I could finish it. And I'm very ha happy to say that it is done. It is gone. I'm so excited. I have finished the gold shadow. I'm so excited. I finished it like yesterday and I did a very gold look, purple and gold look to finish it off because I really wanted to have it done because I knew I was going to film today. Yesterday not so much but today I really wanted to film and I had it done yesterday. So exciting because that means I have one less shadow to work on next year because I really want to finish this off as much as I can or at least work on it again. Then we have my Vaseline. I don't know if I have used it since last time. Bedside Crib is right there so I'm going to put it there so I can use it every single night because I do use lip balm every single night because I breastfeed my lips are crap. <laughs> I'm going to use it every single night from now on because I obviously don't use it when it is in my handbag. The last item I have in this project is for Hook and that is a pigment that I wanted to use 10 times and guess what? I have used it 5 times and the 5th time is today. Last time I filmed I said I had used it 4 times and uh, the last 6 times should be doable but guess what? I focused on the gold shade instead of just hitting gold on this. I have no idea why I put two gold shades in this project. I have absolutely no idea but it is really really fun to use this and I love the yellow gold but it's not an everyday color or if I haven't worn makeup for a while I just feel like a simple look sometimes at least and that is the gold. But because I'm getting more and more into the makeup habit again, I feel like reaching out for colorful shades. I'm on maternity leave and that means I can wear whatever I want to. And because of COVID-19, you don't get out of the house that much. AKA you can do whatever you want to. I like that idea. So that's also why I want to do Panda's eyeshadows next year, because I don't go back to work before like August. So that is like, eight months from now. <laughs> that was everything for this finale. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I am so excited to start new series and new project pants for next year. I still need to think about what I want to do else because I want to do other things than just project pants. So let me know if you have some ideas for videos for me to film or having on my channel. I like every lifestyle and food and makeup beauty related things. I do crochet quite a bit so I don't know if that is something you want to see from me as well. Let me know what you want to see from me and I hope you are having the best of December and the best of day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!